Manga Chapter 666 Review entitled The Two Mangekyo. Uh, you, you might notice that I'm not feeling too thrilled about reviewing this chapter. Well, really, I'm not. Why? Because this chapter was shit. I know it may be too early to say this in this year, but it's definitely the worst chapter of the year so far. And one of the worst chapters in this arc, I honestly think. It was shit. Okay. Plot, and mainly because it's Plot Hole City. You know, you hear people talking, and I've talked about it too, about Takno Jutsu being the most powerful jutsu in the entire Naruto series. No one can survive it. But I no one can survive it. However, I have discovered another ju jutsu that's even stronger than it. Plot hole jutsu. Or plot hole no jutsu. <sighs> it makes its epic return in this chapter stronger. Are just insane. Basically, what Kiko was trying to tell us is that Okino Uchiha, who by the way, I will read the okay, supposed to be dead two times over. He acted from him, which we've learned once Jinchuri he supposed to die for. He basically thinks that Obito on his death is stronger than Mater Uchiha, the god of the Shinobi world. Alright, now basically turned into a god. All nine of And Naruto, and Sasuke, and Kakashi, and the four resurrected uh, Okage, and out. <laughs> Is that what you're trying to tell us? Is that what you're really trying to tell us? Chakra not only to be alive and moving around, but also to use his Kamui, because Madara attacked Obito in this chapter, and he used his Kamui so that Madara would phase right through him here. And some of the age of the Sith is all right. <laughs> oh my god. And we Mater in this chapter. When, when he attacks Obi Wan, Obi Wan says, hmm. "So this is the power, the true power of that eye of yours, or something along those lines." Well, no shit, Madara. That's kind of how the thing works. That fucking eye works. Really? <laughs> So yeah, we're, some great words of old oh, fucking wisdom from Madara Uchiha right there. But it doesn't end. Oh my god. Then we have Obito being transported to, to the Kamui world where Sakura was uh, healing Naruto. I don't remember exactly how Sakura got there. Um, but, she did, I guess, I don't remember her being teleported there, but apparently she's there now, and she's stealing Naruto, and then, uh, this basically happens at the end of the chapter, where Obito puts the, his half of the Ninetales chakra that he's apparently controlling now, inside of Naruto, Naruto to save his life, okay, so basically, so basically, Kishimoto fucked us all, he fucked us all, like, we knew that, 
Naruto was gonna live, but still. And I, I mean, I, I still don't see how he could beat Madara alone now with just that portion of the Nine Tails chakra. But then again, Kishimoto's been been quite all right with giving us plot hole after plot hole after fucking plot hole so far in this in this chapter. So who knows? It's like. I just don't get it. And then we get another, another uh, scene with Madara and Obi a bit before that, which I, I don't really know what to think of it. I'll explain why after I explain exactly what it is. Madara basically says, maybe I should use Limbo, which I think is supposed to be an, a technique of the Renegon. Then he says, I can't afford to use it while Obi has the Renegon. Now, first off, I, how, if it's, I think it's supposed to be a technique of the Renegon. If it is, how could he use it if he doesn't have the Renegon, you know? You know, how could you even consider it? But it might be a technique of his eternal Mangeki or Sharingan as well. Who knows? I don't think it's been revealed before in the series, so, you know, who knows? But that being said, um, that can either be taken, that can be taken one of two ways. It can be taken in, in the sense that he thinks that Obio is capable of using the Randy Gun, or it can be, which makes no fucking sense there either, so I really hope that's not the case. Or he thinks that it. He doesn't want to kill him. I hope we got. It's pretty much a chapter. It was just. Shit after. chapters in the war so far, so far, honestly. Possibly the worst. So yes, but anyways, overall, I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you after, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.